Hi there. Well, it's been another gloriously warm afternoon for many, but if you have been stuck in the office all week, hopefully you'll get a chance to see that brightness this weekend. Plenty of sunshine around, feeling even warmer, but of course, therefore, there will be some high pollen levels and we'll get to where they'll be in just a moment. This evening, mostly dry conditions, a few spits and spots of rain for Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland and perhaps the uh, east as well. But then gradually overnight, well this will clear away, but then we get more rain pushing in from the southwest, affecting Cornwall, southwest Wales and perhaps just edging into Northern Ireland in the early hours of tomorrow morning. Otherwise though, it's a dry start, hazy spells of sunshine towards the east due to that high cloud. Temperature-wise, we're looking at double digits for many towns and cities first thing in the morning across England and areas. For the north of England, the west is looking a bit wet, the east is looking a bit cooler, and that's due to an onshore flow moving in from the North Sea. And the sea will be quite chilly if you're heading to the seaside, just be aware of that. Over East Anglia, highs of 20, perhaps 24 degrees in the better spells of sunshine. Down the south coast, looking very decent, perhaps some thicker cloud towards the southwest. And then a bit of a mixed bag for Wales, the high temperatures triggering some heavy and thundery showers. And this, these will affect the Midlands, that's northern parts of England as well through the course of Saturday. Now into Sunday, well potentially the hottest day of the year so far. We're looking at highs of potentially 27 degrees in the brighter spells of sunshine. Again, once again, that heat will be triggering a few heavy and thundery showers, these mostly out towards the west. So, as I said earlier, those pollen levels are looking to be high this weekend, and that's down to the temperatures really being very hot for the time of year. You can see the highest levels will be down the south coast, the southeast of England, and eastern parts. The west will be moderate. The Pollen Count, sponsored by CheckerTrade.com. CheckerTrade, CheckerTrade.